Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So today we're going to be sharing some tips and tricks for picky eaters and one of me and Max's very favorite healthy, nutritious, and delicious snacks. We're going to be making some banana strawberry oat muffins. Let's jump right into it. Got to love you, waka. got to love you, got to love you, waka. got to love you, got to love you, waka. got to love you, got to love you, why? Tip number one, get your kiddo involved in the kitchen. If they can be a part of the process, they are much more likely to enjoy the final product. Tip number two, let them choose. So this starts actually in the grocery store. Bring them through the aisles, especially the produce section because it's so bright and colorful. Max loves to grab for the oranges and apples. And if you let them choose, they're more likely to enjoy those foods when they get home. Tip number three, try, try again. So if you keep feeling like your child will only eat pizza and mac and cheese, the only reason is because that's what you're offering them. So if you can only offer healthy foods, it may take several attempts until they actually develop a taste for those foods. If they're picky at first, just set things aside and wait until the next meal. It seems difficult at first to get used to, but trust me, if you do it this way, your child will be more hungry for the next meal, be more likely to try new foods. Tip number four. You don't necessarily want your little one to go hungry at each meal, so it's also helpful to have what we call a safe food. So providing something that's nutritious that you know your little one already really enjoys. One thing that's funny that Max really likes is frozen peas. It's so simple to just pour some on the plate. I don't know what it is, but little kids love peas. If your little one is extra little, be careful. They could be a choking hazard, but some frozen thawed peas do the trick. They're high in protein, high in iron. He also really loves freeze-dried strawberries, which we'll be incorporating into today's recipe. Tip number five, hide healthy foods in recipes like smoothies and baked goods. So if you watch us on Instagram, we are always making our delicious green smoothie for breakfast. It is chock full of fruits and vegetables. It's mineral rich. It also has omega-3 fatty acids because we're able to put chia and flax in there. So one of the best ways to hide healthy foods is definitely in a smoothie. And these muffins as well, they have so many amazing ingredients. Tip number six. We have found that when we provide a complete meal for Max, and we've got vegetables, a main course, and a fruit, he tends to only eat the fruit, and then it's more difficult for him to want to eat other foods. So we recommend saving fruit for last if this is the case for your kiddo. Speaking of fruit and sweet foods and sugar, it's normal for especially little ones to crave those sweet foods have a sweet tooth, you might say, but you don't need to opt for candy and refined sugar baked goods. So we try to sweeten everything with unrefined sweeteners. We try to use dates or date paste, which we'll be incorporating into today's recipes. So on that note, let's jump right into the recipe. I've got my little chef to help me out. Let's get going. So this recipe is a tried and true favorite. It's actually in our Eat Move Rest recipe ebook. It contains over 70 recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, desserts, and snacks. We've got you covered. So this is actually my banana bread recipe, but we're making it into muffins, including some strawberries. So it's gonna be super tasty. Let's look at the ingredients. For this recipe, you will need two and a half cups of rolled oats that will be blended into oat flour a half cup of date paste, so this is about seven to eight pitted soaked dates that you blend up with a little bit of their soaking water, two tablespoons of flax seeds, one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder or vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of nut butter, we used almond butter, you can also use cashew, peanut butter, it's up to you, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half cup of finely chopped strawberries and three very ripe bananas. First step is to blend our oats into an oat flour. While we're over here, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Step number two is to grind our flax seeds into a flax meal because it's going to replace our egg. <laughs> He's on top of it. Good job, bud. You ready? 
Okay, push the button. Push the button. Give me five. So when you're making a flax or chia egg, you're gonna want to use three tablespoons of water for one tablespoon of flax. So since we have two tablespoons of flax seeds, we're gonna use six tablespoons of water. Next step is to grab two large mixing bowls, one for your dry powdery ingredients and one for wet ingredients. For our wet ingredients, we're gonna start by adding our ripe bananas to the bowl so we can mash them up. It's okay if your bananas aren't perfectly smashed and mashed, sometimes a few lumps makes it extra tasty. We're adding in our date paste next. And I know Max is gonna try and do a taste test. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar, flax egg, nut butter. Go ahead and mix your wet and dry ingredients well. We're gonna add the strawberries in after everything else is mixed. Master mixer Max. <laughs> Now we're gonna combine our wet and our dry ingredients and give it a good stir, adding in our strawberries. As you guys can see, there are tons of healthy fats in here thanks to the flax seeds. We've got omega-3s. The almond butter also has omega-3s as well as vitamin E, which is kind of hard to come by. Vitamin C, thanks to our fruits. We've got tons of protein and iron, thanks to our oats. So we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, do you wanna add our strawberries in? Wonderful. Ooh, they're gonna be really strawberry-licious. Is it good? <laughs> One awesome thing about cooking plant-based is you can eat all the batter and cookie dough that you want because there's no eggs, no raw muck that we don't want in our bodies. Nothing to make you sick. Mmm, thank you. That's really good. Next step is to add our batter into our muffin trays. We found these awesome silicone ones on Amazon. They're linked on our store in the description. So something else I use these for, the reason why these are cut is because I'll save some of our soups and stews that we have for dinner. That way if I'm in a hurry, I can easily heat him something for lunch. Now I am just adding spoonfuls of our batter into our muffin trays. We're gonna make a couple minis as well, a couple little bite size. So if you're making a banana bread loaf in a regular loaf pan, you might wanna bake for anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes, but because these are in smaller muffin trays, it's only gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes. Just check them by about 20 minutes with a toothpick in the middle. If it comes out clean, they're good to go. These muffins will rise just a little bit, so I recommend leaving a little room at the top of each muffin tray. You wanna try a mini? That looks good. Blow on it. Good. Mmm. <laughs> it's good, huh? We done good, give me high five. <laughs> All right, you guys, so those are the tips. That's the recipe. We hope you guys enjoy it. It's literally a treat that we always have on hand. It satisfies your sweet tooth in the most nutritious of ways. And the best part is it's so enjoyable to make with your kiddos. So if you guys like this video, if you have other tips or suggestions for picky eaters, picky toddlers, leave them in the comments below. I am all ears. Until next time, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik, and eat, move, rest, your best. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanziks. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.